In this video, we're going to be showing you how to stop the number one offense that all of the pros are running, at least some form of, in Madden 23, and that is the gun tight offense. Gun tight, and the reason why people are so many people are running this formation is because it is so good at beating man-to-man -man coverage, which is basically the meta at this point. It's been the meta pretty much all season long, and honestly, it was kind of the meta to close out Madden 20, uh, to close out Madden 22. Um, but I don't think we fully grasp like the power of how good man coverage is going to be in Madden 23. That being said, we're going to show you the best defense that I like to run to defend gun tight and I think really give gun tight a lot of issues in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's free to subscribe to the channel. It just lets you know whenever we release new videos. Um, and also, if you guys want to get my full defensive ebook, um, I've got a full uh, ebook on match coverage. I've got a full ebook on Big Nickel over G and I've got a full ebook on Dime 146, three of which um, those three ebooks I feel like are the foundation of the way a lot of people are going to be playing Madden this year. So if you want to get access to that, again, that link is in the description. Ten bucks gets you access to everything over at the Patreon page. And then uh, we do have two new defensive or uh, a new offensive defensive ebook dropping this week. So we're going to have a new offense out for you guys and a new defense out for you guys. Really excited about that. Um, so just stay tuned to the Patreon if you have not already uh, for more updates with all that. But anyways, let's talk about gun tight and how to stop it in Madden 23. So the best way to stop gun tight in Madden 23, in my opinion, is to use match coverage. We're going to show you how to do that. So what you want to do in your coaching adjustments is you want to make sure to put your zone coverage to match. If it is on default, this tip is kind of useless. So I would really recommend putting this on match. The next thing that we want to do um, with this is we want to, um, I like to use big nickel over G. Um, that's the formation that I wrote my defensive ebook on. So we're gonna show you it out of this, but you could do this out of any play that has match coverage built within it. Uh, so I'm just gonna pick a couple of plays here uh, in this formation. Slot post would be a great example of one. Let me see if I can find uh, uh, bench. Bench is another really popular play uh, in this, and that's gonna be the focal play that we're gonna take a look at. Drive corner is another really popular play. You know, So we have a couple different things here that we have. Um, you know within this within this playbook and then um you know what i'm gonna come out and bench and i'm gonna put pa uh pa slot options in my audibles so you see here we got a couple really good plays in this formation and like i said i'm gonna come out in the play bench because that's really the primary play that we need to stop okay so basically the setup that we're getting a lot at this point in the year is we're getting a lot of a setup that essentially is a high low between the corners on both sides of the field. So we're gonna use the play cover four quarters um, to help us defend this. Now we want to make sure that our slot CB package is turned on in the big nickel. That's gonna give us kind of traditional adjustments for this. And uh, we're gonna show you this. So cover four quarters. So what we're gonna get in this defense is to the right side of the field, our quarters coverage is going to play as if it was playing bunch. Now, it's because the running back is on that side. So whichever side the running back is on, your match coverage is going to play incredible. Don't mess with it at all. It is in phenomenal match coverage to the left side or to the right side. On the other side, that's where all of our issues are going to come from. Um, the, the two receiver side to me has all of the issues in this coverage and, um, it's because they're going to try to defend the number one and number two receiver. They gave them essentially man to man checks, um, which is not what we want to do. So there's a way to work around this and we're going to show you, I think a really, really powerful, um, adjustment here in just a second, but I want to first show you the problem and then we'll talk about the solution. So the problem is basically this. If I just come out and cover four quarters, what you should see is this corner to the left should be open pretty much all the time. As you can see right there, I'm able to throw the corner out to the left. Now, if I was to streak uh, Jones, what you'll see is this corner route to the left is not as anywhere near as open as if I don't. So the second that I start streaking people, it's not that good. And the same can be true of drive corner, which I'll show right here. So you'll see this nice deep corner route. If I streak this, you see it's really not open. Not only do I not have time to throw it, but it's not super open based off of what I was doing defensively. Now, drive corner, if I do the speed out that is already on this play, you'll see here 
that a lot of times he can out leverage him to the corner as you can see now it's a little bit better this year but it, it, it's always been in kind of a major issue there's this little misstep that that player will co consistently take specifically if you get bench and i don't know why it's only those two but it's basically this like if i if, if i start streaking this dude it ain't gonna work and i'll show that um, one more time so you see here i mean it's really not open if i streak and and do that now let me run through just a couple other things real quick so let's say um we don't have slot apprentice yet in mutt but let's say we did and let's say that we take the uh slot uh jones and we put him on a crosser and then we, we do something like this setup. This was a really popular setup from last year, okay? If you watch this defense, you're gonna see here that it basically bags this concept. One of the best reasons why this coverage is good. But notice that the quarter on the left side or on the right side is gonna be able to stay. So if you really did get something like, I mean, they would have to kind of be, especially in Madden 22 to do this, but or in Madden 23 to do this, but if they did gave you a concept like this, this is the one thing um, where you kind of need that guy on the left side, but that's really the only thing. And if that's the case, we can use her because you saw us being able to do that. So the adjustment that I like to do against this coverage, um, and really this is a shout out to EA for the power of this adjustment this year. But basically um, what I like to do is I like to shade my coverage underneath and then we're going to outside third, that left side, uh, that left side safety. Okay, uh, and then you can actually drop a defensive lineman over the middle if you want to. But what you'll see is now this bench play that was killing us, we now have help to the outside, as you can see. That's a really hard throw to consistently make to the outside. Um, you know, and I, I'm telling you right now, this will bag a lot of, uh, a lot of this play. So again, you're mainly the main adjustment is just the outside third the left side player and what you'll see a lot of times with this outside third adjustment is he'll match it really well um, out of this defense he really will do a great great job of matching this play now if they were to run let's say um, you know let's say we run slot post and I want you to kind of think about your user responsibility in the defense what you'll see with this is if we make that adjustment where we're outside thirding that left side corner now i know that i always have an outside deep zone player on the left side so if i'm in this defense here and they're running something like this i can kind of hair go here and then kind of peel back there and it's a pretty decent little little uh little coverage so this is great for corner routes now if i take a second here and show you the the right side of this concept it doesn't matter what i do on as a quarterback it's going to be really hard for me to get this corner route on the right side open with the way the coverage is going to play against this as you see he caught it there but he's double covered right um you have a great chance of being able to handle any flood concept to this right side and that with hard flats um you don't have to have the quarter flats on this defense the hard flats will be fine and you see how we're really handling corner routes to the right side so we're able to handle corner routes to the right side we're able to handle corner routes to the left side and now let's talk about the little out routes we have hard flats for the out routes so you see the out routes are running right into hard flats and we should intercept that every single time so this is a great way of taking away the main couple things that um that that gun tight does well i think it's really important when you're building your defenses to take away what are the main things what are the main things that they do well Well, in this formation you're going to get pivot routes quarter routes you might get a little slot post the quarters will do a really good job of taking away seam routes as well by the way um, but you'll see here watch these little pivot routes i can kind of hang in here and help on this one and you see that we bag that entire setup not nothing is open nothing is open uh when you utilize this defense now pa slot options i think pa slot options is one of the best bombs in madden 23 if they streak this tight end it is really good um and, and you know maybe we do something like this okay now all i'm gonna do is the same exact setup that i've been telling you we're shading underneath and we're putting that outside guy in a third and what you're gonna see here is this left side quarter because number uh, 13 watch how this plays this Watch how this plays this coverage. It's going to match it beautifully, and we're going to take it all the way. So the only responsibility that we now have is that in route in the middle of the field. That's it. And if you want help in the middle of the field with this coverage, what you want to do is you want to drop the defensive tackle that is opposite of the running back 
into a bluff blitz. You want to make sure you blitz your user, but you want to drop that defensive tackle into a bluff blitz. And now what you'll see is you've got help in the middle of the field, and you are locking down, and you've got a lot of freedom with your user. So, guys, I don't want to take any more of your time for this video, but I do want to let you know that I think this is the best tight defense in the game right now. And if you're looking for an expansion on these concepts and how this works and a real detailed explanation of match coverage, make sure you're in our Patreon. We've got a whole ebook devoted to teaching you the principles of how the coverage works against every major formation in the game, your responsibilities when running this coverage, who you should user, how you should blitz, and even most importantly, I think, how you can actually make adjustments out of match coverage where you're not going to break your coverage, but you're going to maximize your coverage. So thank you for watching the video. I really hope that this was a helpful tip for defending gun tight. And if you want to join our Patreon and learn all of our schemes and eBooks, make sure that you do that. The link is in the description below. 10 bucks gets you access to the whole page um, with all the eBooks. And so we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.